Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And I know that some of you have been wondering where the June 2023 sheet load of cards is, so I thought I would stop by and do a little rewind, give you some sheet load updates, life updates, channel updates, and we're going to be doing a little celebrating as well. I hope you'll stick around and find out more! Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I've had a few of you reach out via email wondering if there's going to be a June sheet load, if you missed it, if the series is discontinued. So instead of keeping replying, letting you know to go check out my community tab, I thought I would just make a video. I will craft while I do a little voiceover and just talk a little bit and give you some updates on me. Now, while this won't be a traditional rewind video, I will tell you at the end of this how you can download the June 2021 sheet load of cards. And if you're interested in seeing more rewind videos, I will have a playlist in that description box below. I also won't be going and telling you about each item I use or each supply, but I will have listed in the description box below what I can still link up. If after watching today's video, you are left with any questions, feel free to leave those in that description box below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can, which I'll give you a little heads up lately. It's not as quickly as it used to be, but I'm sure you're going to understand why here in just a few minutes. Let's get crafty and chatty. While I get started on the cards and before I kind of give you my life updates and channel updates, I do want to take a few minutes to give a very special thank you and shout out to all of my channel members. Your support over these last six weeks or so, and probably a little bit here for the next bit of the summer, is so, so greatly appreciated. Um, because of your support each month, I am able to focus on me, my family, and the grief, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, without having to worry about making videos that I might not be giving 100% of my heart to, and worrying about trying to make sales and make ad revenue, that I can just take this time um, to heal and help my family as well. As channel members, you were a little bit more aware of what was going on as I did keep you updated since you do pay for a membership each month. And thanks again, especially to like my die cut and paper trimmer level members. We haven't been able to do the lives each month together and I haven't been able to send out member mail to the paper trimmers. So I do hope to get back to that. Um, I hope to do the channel member live this month in June. I do have it scheduled and you know, maybe channel member mail will be June or July. Just again, I really appreciate your patience and your continued support. Now I want to do some celebrations. I did have quite a few of my channel members reach some major milestones um, since the last time I have shared, so I want to take a few minutes to recognize them. Up on screen now are the names of the members who have reached one year of channel membership in the month of May and the beginning of June. Thank you so much for your continued support.
Thanks again to each and every one of you for your support over the last year. And now I would like to recognize some more channel members. And these have reached two years of channel membership. Let's go ahead and say thank you to Wayne Benton, Jennifer Dahlgren, The Bling Bling Crafter. Julia McLaren, Katie DeFrancesco, Karen's Crafting Company, Debbie in LA, Susie Q. Martin, Dinah Colors Rhonda, Jane Smith, Kimberly Park, Teresa Kaiser, Audrey E, Rita Jackson, Carolyn King, Susan M, Kathy Scroggy, Stamping with Corinne, Penny Robinson. Kathy Nelson, Heidi May, Melissa Wims, Jacqueline Clays, Kathy Slack, Michelle Maddox, Lori Beck, To Be Free at Last. Wendy Easler, J.M. Rawgreen, Judy B.S. One, Jeanette Santa, Gladys Perrin, Diane Viegas Johnson, Anita Ator, Diane Andrade. Roberta B. BJ Classy. Humbird Lover One. Rosa Olvera. Kim Dixon Creative. Leanne Sheffield. And Cheryl Nagy. Again, thank you so much for your continued support. Another group that I would like to take a minute to thank is my Sheet Load of Cards collaboration team. Not only have they helped me over the years celebrate and promote Sheet Load of Cards, but over the past couple months, they've really rolled with the punches, me going back and forth on whether or not there was gonna be a June Sheet Load, wondering if there would be any Sheet Loads this summer. And some of them were able to go ahead and post on June 2nd. And instead of sharing a look at the new sheet load, they posted some of their favorites. So to see those, and I hope that you'll go check them out and leave them some love, I have created a playlist here on YouTube and I will link that in the description box below, along with each of the individual videos and the Instagram team members who also shared some of their favorites. Again, thank you so much team for your dedication, time, talent, and hard work. I'm so glad to have each one of you. Now I'll kind of let you know where I've been and why there wasn't a June 2023 sheet load of cards. And then I'm just gonna give some updates on what the channel will look like over the next few months and what you can expect. Um, some of you know if you have maybe on my Facebook group or if you have checked out the community tab. I did share it a couple times. Um, my mom, who if you've ever been to one of my lives or one of my premieres, you have seen her in the chat box as Gloria Jewett. Not only was she one of my biggest fans and cheerleaders and supporters, but she was also an avid card maker. 
so you've probably seen her name. Well, she has been the picture of health her whole life, you know, didn't really go to the doctor, was, you know, 78 and going strong. And toward the end of April, she started complaining about some stuff and she was going to take some Tylenol and go see the doctor. Now, to many of you, that would mean nothing. But I knew that something really had to be wrong if my mom was taking medicine and seeking out a doctor. So I kind of knew at that time I might have to go see her. So I did end up spending a week with her in the beginning of May and she had definitely aged a lot since I saw her last and she was having lots of issues and was getting scheduled for tests and doctor's appointments so I kind of was there to help her out with that. Well after I spent the week there I was home for just a few days when my rest of my family um, they probably decided that she couldn't be left alone anymore and she was scheduled again for more tests, but unfortunately, they did have to rush her to the ER. Um, she went downhill very, very quickly. Luckily, all of the kids and grandkids that were in contact with her were able to be in the, there in the hospital and tell her goodbye. Um, sorry, this is a little bit harder. Um, so it was great to be able to do that and let her know we loved her. She did end up passing away on Mother's Day. So it's been, of course, a little rough since then. And I am going to be the executor of the estate. So I've had to be in Iowa a little bit longer. And I'll be honest, like even when I came back just from that week with her, I wondered if I would ever want to make a card again. Um, luckily though, I did find my mojo. Thank you to Craft Roulette. I mean, they inspired me to get crafty uh, with some of their challenges and then I have felt like even keeping that on. So I know there are going to be super hard days as any of you who have lost a close loved one will know, but I am going to try to get back to a quote unquote normal life when I can. So let me tell you what this will kind of mean for my channel. Before I do get to that, I just wanted to point out kind of the reason that I'm using this collection from Not Too Shabby today. It was twofold. First of all, this was the last box of the month that I was assigned. And because I had to travel all of a sudden, I wasn't able to use it as much as I would like and share it here. So I thought it would be a good chance to use it for these cards. And also with the lemon theme, um, recently my mom had really gotten into lemons, both for crafting, for decorating, and I had just ordered her some lemon themed ornaments for her tree that she had been keeping up throughout the year, like a Christmas tree, but she decorated it for different seasons just to kind of bring some more joy into her house. So I thought using this collection and stamping on the inside, you're the zest would be appropriate. In honor of my mom, Gloria, I would like any of you who are interested and might have some lemon themed goodies or her favorite color was purple. She loved grandkids. She loved gardening. Maybe if you can over the next month or two, make a card in her honor as well. I would love it if you wanted to share it with me. You could send me a picture via email, which I have my address in the description box below. You could make a video here and send me that link. Or if you post on Instagram or TikTok, you could post your picture or video and then tag me. I do have all of my social media in the description box as well. Um, I know that she would be happy to know that I am able to keep crafting as much as I can and it would just be nice to see just some extra lemon and purple and flowery cards. And now for the channel updates. So for sheet load, right now I do plan on putting out a July 2023 sheet load of cards. My mom's memorial service is this coming Saturday, June 17th. So I'm hoping after that I'll have to make 
fewer trips back to Iowa and I can kind of focus some more on videos. So I do plan on putting out a new sheet load on July 1st. It has been sent to my sheet load of cards team so they can be all ready. But please, if I do have to postpone it or reschedule it, know that it is kind of necessary. And speaking of that, if you're ever wondering what's going on with Alicia or why isn't there a sheet load, it's always a good idea to check out my community tabs. I do usually give updates on there on anything that would be interrupting, you know, normal normal schedule here. And if you're a channel member, you might have a little bit more information on your membership tab. Now to get to the community tab, you'll just go back to my main channel page and there will be tabs across the top and just click on community. Sometimes you'll have to scroll down a little bit, but I usually do try to get updates there. Now one thing that will change with sheet load and kind of the monthly schedule is the end of the month show us your sheet load. I have already been posting updates on the community tab about that. Um, right now I probably won't be doing that end of the month video just because I'm not sure if I'll have time. And I kind of already knew that, you know, a, a month ago when I thought I just might have to travel back and forth to help my mom out. So I have been posting those updates, but please, um, if you're gonna send in a card, you know I would love to see it. Just know that it might not get shared. And if you're gonna send a card in, just send a single sample, maybe just write something inside about yourself. I know some of you love to send me like the whole sheet load, but another thing with that is, they usually went to my mom to use in her church ministry and to give away to local retirement centers. Since that ha won't happen anymore, I kind of need to figure out either something local or I might just have to forego saving them to give away for others to use. So I have taken down the show us your sheet load video that tells you all about that. But again, I still have that PO box. I still love to receive happy mail. So definitely if you're making a sheet load, I would love to see one. And yeah, I'll still be checking that. And who knows in the future, maybe I will get something figured out and I will be able to resume the normal one where you could send me blank cards that I would donate later if you wanted to. Besides my monthly sheet load of card series and the accompanying videos, I had also started back up my Oso oh Inspired collaboration, which we shared on the 20th of the month. We did skip May, but all things going well, we will have a post on June 20th. So I would love for you, if you're not already subscribed here with all those notifications, go ahead and do that so you'll be notified. The team of collaborators for that, we each take the same inspiration piece and create something new based upon it. It is always so fun to see how that single inspiration piece can inspire so many different interpretations. So I do plan on keeping up with the new sheet load of cards each month and the Oh So Inspired collaboration. But some of the other things I did throughout the month, like the Collaborator Showcase, the Rewind, just other design team videos and card making videos, they might not be as frequent as they used to be. I am hoping though that I can get all of my executor duties done this summer and then maybe in August or September go back to more of a normal schedule. Now I know that I might not have videos as frequently, but I would so appreciate it if you have some time and you want to go back and watch older videos of mine. It would really help just keep that ad revenue up and just make it so it's not so important that I make videos, make videos, make videos. If you'll just watch them, give them a thumbs up, you know, leave some love in the comments. Also speaking of comments, it has always been my aim to reply to each and every one of you who has ever left me one. I have had to let that go over the last month. Sometimes I will, you know, go ahead and give you a heart. If you have a question, I still try to answer it, but it might be a little bit before I can get back to answering everyone individually. So please know if you have left me a comment over the last few weeks, 
I either have or I will definitely be reading it. I just might not have time to reply individually. And really, that is one thing I love to do. So I do want to try to get back to that. I'll just need a little bit of grace while I'm working up to it. As I finish up the card process, I would like to just take another minute to say thank you to everyone, my channel members, my collaboration teams, and also to everyone who has sent me cards of sympathy or notes, those of you who keep checking in on me. It really is greatly appreciated. I'm not sure if I've ever realized until now what it feels like to lose someone so close to you. And just those little messages and kind notes really mean a lot. I hope that if you're going through a rough time or have had a recent or maybe not so recent death in your family, that I hope you're doing okay and that each day just kind of like the brunt of the grief gets a little bit less. Looking back on things my siblings and I have talked about, we think my mom might have kind of known in the back of her mind for a while something might be wrong. But she was always the person to say, you know what, I've lived a good life. Um, she didn't want to live the rest of it, you know, sick from cancer treatments or in a retirement center not living life to the fullest. I mean, a few weeks before she passed, she was out trimming her hedge and doing her own yard work. So we do kind of think that she might have kept it from us, not only so we wouldn't try to talk her into something she didn't want, but this is hard, this is probably hard to say every time I say it, but I really do think that she wanted to spend the rest of her life living instead of dying. And sorry, I would just encourage each of you to do the same and tell your loved ones how much you love them. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together these four cards using the June 2021 sheet load of cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. I also hope that you enjoyed the little catch up and celebrations. And now if you would like to download the June 2021 sheet load of cards, let me tell you how. As always, Sheetload is free to all subscribers of my channel. So before you click on the link to download, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute, make sure you have clicked on that subscribe button below. It's free, it's quick, it's easy. To find the link to the June 2021 Sheetload of Cards, you'll want to check out the description box below and all the way at the bottom, I have a link to the PDF. Now below that, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You can open it and view it and use it on screen, or you can download it to your device and print it like I have. I hope that you enjoy getting crafty with the June 2021 sheet load of cards. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.